In this chapter, we will take a look at PLC data memory. Here is the list of PLC data memory for XGK. The range is based on XGK CPU UN type. First, let's categorize the memory, whether it is based on bit or word. If it is a bit unit, the last number is to express a bit address. However, if it is a word unit, the last number is not a bit. Of course, even if it is a word unit, it can express a bit address using a period. Let's see how all data memory are different. P is an image area to save the state of input-output device. After reading the input module state, it saves it in the corresponding P area and sends P area data saving the operation result to output module. P00000 last zero is a bit. The last bit is expressed with hexadecimal. There are 65,536 input output points the users can use based on XGK CPU UN. If input output modules are installed, then number of input output devices are allocated for those specific modules, and the rest can be used as internal memory. For example, if there are input output modules that use memory from P0 through P12F, then the rest of the memory from P130 to P4095F are not used, which can be used as internal memory. When users use the left out P memory as internal memory, users might get confused whether the P memory is allocated in input output modules. Users mostly use M memory and D memory for internal memory. The difference between the two memory are that last digit in M memory is a bit because M is a bit-based memory, where last digit in D memory is a word because D is a word-based memory. L memory is used to indicate high-speed link and P2P service state information of communication module. There is a special memory which is used to preserve the data during power shutdown. K memory is bit-based, and R memory is word-based memory. F memory is a system flag area that manages the flag necessary for system operation in PLC. S memory is a relay for step control. D memory is an internal memory just like M memory. The difference between the two is that D memory is word-based when M is bit-based memory. U is an analog data register used to read data from special module such as high-speed counter and temperature control. N is a communication data register where P2P service parameter is saved in. This is not used in program. Index register Z is dedicated device to use index function. There is also T and C memory, which is used to indicate the current value of timer or counter. For last, file register R is used to access flash memory. Now, let's look at P memory. On the left, there is an input module, and on the right, there is an output module. If switch connected to P0 and P4 on the far left, then input signals must come in. As it can be seen from ladder program, P0 and P4 are A contacts, and if either one of them has an input signal, then output signal P20 will be turned on. P memory is based on bit, so word P0 
has 16 bit. So, as you can see from the picture in the center, first row of word P0000 is composed of 16 bit from P00 to P0F. As the latter program is written, when P0 and P4 bit are on, bit P20 on the output module is also turned on. Modules other than digital input and output do not use P memory. The allocation of input output number is to give the address to the input output terminal of each module in order to read the data from input module and print the data to output module when performing the operation. XGK provides two kinds of input output allocation, fixed and variable. By selecting Assign fixed points to input output slot from basic parameter, 64 points is allocated to each slot regardless of module. In this case, users do not need to change programs even if they get to change module later. Let's look at slot number 0 for fixed input output number. When input module with 16 points is equipped, it will use P0 to PF. Then the rest input output devices from P10 to P3F can be used as internal memory. For variable input output number allocation, input output numbers are allocated based on actual modules equipped in PLC. One word is allocated if 16 points module is equipped, two word for 32 points module, four word for 64 points module. If it's programmed with variable input output number allocation and a user changes one of the modules from 64 points to 32 points, then the input output numbers from that slot will be pushed back. Let's look at input output contact P. Five digits of number is used to express P memory. First four is for word and the last one is for bit. What's important here is that the digits of memory are different depending on the product. Users need to be aware of the fact that the last digit shown in hexadecimal is bit. The other digits are word. Word is expressed in decimal and the bit is in hexadecimal. Now, let's take a look at an example below. For number 1, P0000 is the first bit of P0 word. Number 2, P15 is the bit number 5 of P1 word. Number 3, P23 is the bit 3 of P2 word. Number 4, P2A is the bit 10 of word P2. Next is internal contact M. M and P are very similar where the only difference between the two is that M is internal. Let's take a look at an example below. M32 is bit number 2 of word M3. The rest of the examples are similar to P. When M0 and M3 are on, M2 is moved to M3. But, if you take a closer look, A contact M3 and M3 in move function have different number of zeros. A contact M3 has four zeros, and M3 in move function has three zeros. Move function requires word data when only bit can be used in contact. In this example, decimal value 17 is moved from M2 word to M3 word. Next is keep relay K. 
It is to retain the data during the power failure and can be used without setting the separate retaining parameter. The reset switch in CPU module will reset all the data and clear memory other than keep relay to zero. K memory will hold the last data and when the CPU is in run mode, it will continue processing with the previous data. F memory is a system flag area that manages the flag necessary for system operation in PLC. Flag memory is provided by manufacturer. Therefore, users can use this memory to read the status of PLC. For example, users can check F0 bit to see if PLC is in run mode and F91 is a 100 milliseconds timer to turn bit on every 100 milliseconds. Word area is different with bit device. It is expressed in word numbers only. It is not used in the contact point area and used for the calculation and storage of numeric data. However, if users need to use word area as a bit, use period with hexadecimal value to express bit. This is an example of transferring D3 word data to D4 when D0.0 and D0.3 bits are on. U device is a special module register. It is used to read data from special module installed in the slot such as analog, high-speed counter, temperature control, positioning, and etc. Device address is not fixed, but it will be allocated depending on what kind of special module is used and which slot it is equipped in. The address will be registered automatically if users register module variable comments on edit menu. This is timer. In basic parameter setting, the second tab, device area setup, has timer boundary on the left bottom. 100 milliseconds contains number from 0 to 3999. It means that the value of timer for device address from T0 to T3999 is 100 milliseconds. For example, timer address T200 lies between T0 to T3999. Therefore, the value of timer is 100 milliseconds, which means 1000 milliseconds is one second. The timer will turn on when 100 milliseconds times 100, 10,000. For example, on the right, T8100, T8100 lies between T8000 and T8191 on the last row, which timer has a value of 0 0.1 milliseconds. This is an example of using timer in a ladder program. When M0 bit is on, timer on function starts. T23 timer has a value of 100 milliseconds. And because the function is set as 100, it means 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, T23 will reach 100, turning to T23 bit on, and therefore P20 output is on. C is for counter. CTU function is up counter, and in this example, the set value is set as 10. It will count M0's count pulse when M0 has a rising edge. C100 will increase, and when it's increased 10 times, C100 will turn on, and P20 output will be on.
Z is for index. The first letter example shows that when M0 bit becomes on, move function will deliver D10 value to D20. The second letter example has same device addresses with just one difference of Z1 written with D20. If Z1 is 5, address for D20, Z1, becomes D25. Index is very useful that users can change addresses with set a starting address. However, there is one thing to note prior to using index. When using index, users need to know whether the address used with index is bit or word. When current value of Z001 index is 6 and used with M9 bit, the address is M000F, not M15. D is a word-based memory. For M, Z index is added as bit. But for D, Z index is added as word. As explained earlier, the last digit for bit address is expressed with hexadecimal. This is why when Z1 is 6, D9, Z1 becomes word D15. However, when index is used with word-based memory used as bit, it should be expressed D9, Z1.1, not D9.1, Z1. Z index is used very frequently because by using Z index, it will effectively simplify the latter program.